My name is Marc-André and we're here at the uh, Canadian Tire Centre in Ottawa and I play drums for the uh, Ottawa Senators home games. At every game we play about 70 songs. We pick within those 70 songs and uh, we do medleys, we do bits and parts of the songs. We usually do about uh, 25 to 35 minutes before every game while people are getting seated and we play during the periods and we play between the periods too. And we, we kind of do a lot of, of arena music, so a lot of that guitar-oriented stuff. Good, feel-good music, a lot of it is, which people can all sing the chorus to. The response has been great. People stop by, they look at us, they cheer, they sing. Uh, I think it creates a good vibe for everybody. And uh, yeah, it's a, great, it's a great feeling for everyone, I think, to see a band playing and seeing that the songs that they like are being played live by real musicians, I think is, is very appreciated. When the gig was offered to me, uh, I was told that I couldn't use a real drum kit. And to be honest, I was a little uh, apprehensive about using a V-drum. And um, ultimately, it was the best thing that could happen to me. Because all the leaking that would have happened here, all the interviews, everything would have been compromised by, the, by a real drum kit. And the TD-50, the way it sounds, everything is ready to go. The kick drum, the snare, everything, the sound, it's compressed, it's ready. It saved us a lot of trouble. And uh, found, finding the right sound on the drum kit was very easy for the place to, to have that rock sound too. It's very uh, versatile, of course. But uh, all those challenges were met with that drum kit. It was a really good asset. So the sound that we use for the gig is, um, has been all chosen for especially rock-oriented songs. So for the snare, I used the Jaraply S, which cuts through nicely through the mix. It's a powerful snare to simulate all the rock songs that we do. Uh, for the kick drum, it's the Jaraply K. I think I modified the depth a little bit for 18 inch. Again, it's, it's a rock power sound for, you know, we do a lot of ACDC stuff and all that music, so it's a good mix. Tom is the 70s stainless 12 inch. The floor 17 stainless 18 inch. And as far as the hi-hat goes, dark and warm hi-hat, it's 13 inch. The crash is the Legacy Tin, 18 inch, which cuts nicely through the mix too. And over here we have the Power Medium. Sometimes I like to rash to, to ride on this crash, so it's. And here I have the um, the, the ride, which is a uh, dry and heavy, 20 inch. And here, I've um, put the, the cowbell on this, but sometimes in the gig I have to change an instrument. This is my, um, how could I say, the, uh, the spare drum, which I can, you know, put any instrument on it. So I use either the cowbell number six, or sometimes I go to a shaker for some other stuff that we do that I might need, which is this here. Playing in front of that many people is, uh, is a great feeling. It, it, it values what we do, and it uh, brings us to play in a way that it's a powerful way, I guess. You know, you give it all when you play and you see that many people and it's a small unit, but it, we're trying to make it sound big. It's a good feeling. <laughs>